Hi, this is Jeff at Portworks. Today I'm going to show a full stack of Microsoft SQL Server running on Portworks through Kubernetes. This is a very exciting demo that will show how easy it is to achieve both database high availability and database recoverability, all with the easiest deployment you've ever seen. We start with showing a four node Kubernetes cluster. You can see the master and the three minions. The pods and the servers running here are all associated with Portworks. And here you can see the mapping of Kubernetes Persistent Volume Claims, or PVCs, to the Portworks volumes. There are no SQL Server volumes yet. Best place to start is our Portworks Docs site at docs.portworks.com. It's very well organized. If you follow Applications to Database, you'll find SQL Server. There's the first video demo I did for SQL Server on Docker with storage on demand and database recoverability. And toward the end are the new Kubernetes pod specs for running SQL Server on Portworks. Portworks requires Kubernetes 1.6 and above. Portworks essentially maps a storage class onto the Portworks volume metadata for things like number of replicas, class of service, and shared volumes. Then the PVC is used to specify the volume size. So let's go ahead and apply this spec, and we'll see the storage class, PVC, deployment, and service all created. Here you can see the MSSQL data PVC and how it maps to the underlying Portworks volume. Since the storage class was REPL equals 3, our MSSQL data volume has three-way replication. Next, to get some real data, I'm going to copy the AdventureWorks database into the SQL Server pod and then load it into the database engine. And here you can see the expected row counts for the person table and the sales order detail table. To show how this would be accessed from a proper Windows machine, I'll note the IP address and service port. And then I can see the exact same row count for the sales order detail table. Now to demonstrate database recoverability, I'm going to first take a snapshot of this volume. And then I'm going to simulate the most awful disaster imaginable. I'm going to drop the sales order detail table. And you can see that it's really gone regardless of how you connect to the SQL Server engine. Now, to recover from this awful situation, look at the pod spec for bringing up SQL Server using the container granular volume snapshot taken just earlier. You just need to pass in the name of the snapshot as the volume mount name and the Portworx volume ID. Then we expose the service on a different port, 30444. And that's it. Now let's go bring up a SQL Server instance on the backup snapshot image. And you can see the snapshot attached to one of the Kubernetes minions. And here's our pod and service for the new recovered instance running on port 30444. So if I go to the Windows client and connect to the recovered instance on port 30444, then you can see the database at the time of the snapshot with the sales order detail table intact for database recoverability. Now, to demonstrate SQL Server high availability, we're going to first find the server that the snapshot recovery instance is running on, which is minion 3. 
and then I'll shut it down. And then you'll see the magic of portworks and Kubernetes together. Note the bottom window. You can see the snapshot mounted initially on Minion 3, 10.0.160.0. And when Kubernetes notes the failure, it automatically reschedules the SQL Server pod onto 10.0.64.0, and Portworks automatically mounts the snapshot, as you can see. And here you can see the new SQL Snap pod running on Minion 1. And finally, going back to the Windows client, you can see the instances up, available, and accessible. So here you've seen a complete end-to-end -end deployment of SQL Server on Kubernetes. And rather than rely on SQL Server application clustering for availability, which may be complex to configure, we've relied instead on a combination of Kubernetes and Portworx multi-node replication for availability, as well as Portworx snapshots for database recoverability. To learn more, please visit portworx.com. Thanks for watching.